Hello and welcome. This week's tip of the week is how to find doc entry. The problem here is that SAP uses the doc entry as the primary key in every marketing document table. Um, this doc entry serves as an internal ID um, or a primary unique identifier to the document. And many times the doc entry and the doc num do not align in the database, uh, primarily due to document numbering. Here, the user or consultant needs to find a document's doc entry for use in a query, crystal report, or other. Uh, the doc entry is not easily identifiable directly through the user interface, so the user must query a table in SAP with the doc num in order to obtain the doc entry, which is quite a tedious task. The solution to this problem uh, resides within the changelog. Uh, the user can simply open the document in SAP and from there click Tools and Changelog. And the doc entry for that document will actually be listed in the changelog um, in the object code column. Let's go over to SAP to do a quick demo. Here in SAP, I have an AR invoice number 9999. But let's say that I'm writing a crystal report and I need to know the doc entry or the internal unique identifier of this document. Previously, I'd need to go to tools, queries, query generator, um, query my AR invoice table, which is OINV, um, type in here that I need to find the doc entry, uh, specifically for document number 9999. And I can click execute and when I do so, I can obtain the doc entry for this document, which is 1076. Now that was quite a few steps. And uh, alternatively for this week's tip of the week, we can instead just open our AR invoice number 9999, go to tools and change log. And when we do so, we look under the object code column and we can see here that same doc entry of 1076 that we got from our query as well. So just saving quite a few steps um, and making the user more efficient. Overall, this resolution means that users no longer need to spend the time writing a query to obtain the doc entry for a given document. Instead, they can use their time more efficiently and effectively by saving quite a few extra clicks and keystrokes. Um, by saving time on these tedious tasks, that means the users have more time to spend on actual business functions, running the business better and making more money and making users just happy in general. Thank you so much. Yeah.